Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to erase your QuickBooks online data and start over. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in QuickBooks, just find a plan that's right for you. And from here, all you have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions and you are all set. Now, deciding to erase your QuickBooks online data and to start over is a significant decision that should be carefully considered. But if your current QuickBooks online data is cluttered with errors, duplicate entries, or outdated information, I believe starting over can provide a fresh start and enable you to maintain a cleaner, more accurate records going forward. Now, in my case, I've undergone significant changes in my business structure, such as I converted from a sole proprietorship to a corporation. So I feel or I felt that it's very appropriate to erase my existing QuickBooks online data and set up a new account to reflect the updated ent entity structure. Right now, now for you to be able to erase your quickbooks online data and start over it's a very straightforward and simple process all you gotta do is hover to the upper right corner right here in the cog icon setting click on subscriptions and billing all right now when you click on that you will be given to a new page wherein as you can see this is your current subscription all right and you can view the payment history right here you can upgrade your plan but you might want to cancel your subscription erase your quickbooks online data and start over again all right remember that your next step depends on the subscription level because most uh most of the time your file is going to be here for around 60 days all right after that, you're not going to be able to back up all the data that has been stored on your account. Now, you can also check the payment history you have done before you do anything. Now, once you are decided to cancel the subscription and start over again, click on the cancel button. As you can see, there's going to be a pop-up new window wherein it gives you a warning that if you wanted to, decided to cancel will hang on to your books for up to a year and you can pick up where you're left off if you decide to come back remember again before erasing your quickbooks online data and starting over it's essential to back up your existing data and carefully elevate the implications of this decision you need to consider consulting with a financial advisor or accounting professional to determine the best course of action for your specific situation now if you have any concerns about data security or privacy breaches in your current QuickBooks Online account, you might want to go here instead. Click on the help option. And from here, there's going to be an AI assistant that can help you. Right? Before you can start over with a new account because they can provide assurance that your financial information is secure and protected from potential threats. Or you can go to the QuickBooks Online support you can talk to these channels especially if you're comfortable calling their numbers at this number at this hours and tell them your situation that you wanted to erase your quickbooks all in data and start over again and i believe that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one